Hello viewers, welcome to another video. Nowadays, everyone asks the same questions before buying inverter AC. And they are, is the inverter AC saves the energy and reduce our electricity bill? Are they more reliable than the conventional ACs? And will they provide enough cooling, etc. So in this video, I will try to compare both ACs on different aspects and by the end of this you will be able to choose the right option in order to better meet your requirement. In normal AC the speed of a compressor and the condenser does not change it means that they rotate with the same speed whereas in the inverter AC we have a variable speed compressor and a variable speed condenser and in 3D inverter we also have a variable speed evaporator or indoor motor. It means the speed of the compressor and condenser changes with the cooling requirement. So how does a normal AC operate? Let's say the cooling set point is 25 degrees C. So when it cools the room at 24 degrees C it will cut off. After that, the outdoor unit will start at 26 degrees C. So here you can see that, first of all, it will provide extra cooling and after that, it will shut down and will start at 26 degrees C. So this temperature will again be uncomfortable and not required because the set temperature is 25 degrees C. Whereas, the inverter AC maintains a set point by varying the speed of compressor and condenser without turned off. It will change its speed around set point plus minus 0.5. So it will maintain the room temperature around 24.5 to 25.5 degrees C without turning off. The operation of normal AC mimics this picture in which you can see the person is trying to climb down or climb up a cliff and then rest and then starts again. So it means that starting, stopping and resting and then doing the same sequence will exhaust and definitely will require more energy and will be very hectic, will be also damaging to the life of the machine. Whereas in inverter AC, it will continue to operate at an appropriate pace and because of it, it will waste less energy and also so it will not be an hectic operation. So the most important question is the consumption of the normal AC versus the inverter AC. Because of the rapid start stops, the motor will consume more energy whereas because of the continuous operation at less flow rate and less speed, it will consume less energy and maintains the room temperature around the set point. According to this reference, the inverter AC will be able to save up to 58% of the electricity when allows to operate continuously. So let us try to uh, compare both ACs on further aspects. First of all, fluctuation in the supply. The normal AC is prone to fluctuation in frequency and the voltage and therefore the fluctuation can be harmful whereas the inverter AC can operate at low voltages because of its principle of operation. Obviously the inverter AC is the latest technology and has special type of compressor therefore the cost of inverter AC is high or you can say the upfront cost of the inverter AC is high. So at the end of this video I am trying to present a rule of thumb in order to let you understand in which scenario the inverter AC will be able to operate efficiently. So inverter AC is most efficient cost wise if it is used continuously for more than 3 hours and in less disturbing environment. The best example of using inverter AC is in the room when you are about to sleep and allow the AC to operate continuously throughout the night. At that time, it will definitely save you a lot of energy, in my experience, for offices and homes. 
the inverter AC is more efficient cost wise whereas for the public places the normal AC would be more efficient because it will provide fast cooling as compared to the inverter AC. I hope you like this video and for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.